Melang guys. Welcome to FL Studio 20 tutorial video for beginners. Lina laga gachogofacho aka Vivid Casa. Today guys kitolo ruta the basics on how to operate fruit loops and the basics on how to create your own song. Thanks for tuning in guys. And one other important thing guys go over this video is created for those individuals well already they were not exposed to fruit loops before ne and if elori wena already o khono operate fruit loops to a level of o getrela ko she yao o ka lebelela to learn maybe something you might have missed or maybe something i know that you don't know but then this video otherwise is created for total beginners okay guys yes let's carry on the lesson guys uh first of all this is how fruit loops fl studio 20 looks how is noivula for the first time if laura as in the this is how it looks it can look very intimidating mara we all know what with practice everything can get simpler and simpler so on a list some of the most important functions the basics on how fruit loops works ne? so the first one get the file menu the f uh, more the top bar on the on the left get the file menu the file menu it's important because your first project you will need to save your first project and then or the we save it or click a save and then why name or we save in or to click a save then we fetch our why if I more file name or if I the name yeah the project and then why choose it or on your way why choose it or on your way save a guy and then from there we we'll press a save let's say tomorrow on your continue a guy on the project you we are then we we'll do it again on the auto will fruit loops and then why on the file menu and then on the file menu we are open and then from open wa 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 browse that file more we will go on let's say maybe we be the desktop or a desktop and then we click and then we will and guys so i'll continue another important option more more top 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 bar on the on the left get the edit the edit menu the edit menu it consists of the undo or undo uh, your last move and then moving on to the right one of the most important menu more key the option menu option menu a it allows you to to select the sound cut here for your projects uh, for a beginner this might sound a little bit deep but then you to show or or no select a sound cut here you go produce your current project or let's say me break your new midi keyboard with a more midi then we'll connect your keyboard with the computer a usb port and then it's going to appear in here depending on the name yeah me do allow if let's say for example your your your, your file your, your sorry your midi keyboard you will regularly more connect to the computer lina la on like a midi keyboard like uh, under this input what that's and like uh, another device in what lower midi keyboard then why enable then yeah uh, for now let me not it's not the most basic thing but then it's important to know and then moving across to the right guys are really the master volume and then really the master pitch for now are really saying come hold it and then here on the right again really the transport controls yellow consistor the pet this pet iminagori pattern and then this then it's song and then Renale pause play pause play and then Renale stop and then Renale record and then Renale tempo more tempo tempo speed is a kosha in simple terms tempo key speed is a kosha is measured in bpm so let's say maybe when you could draw kosha ya ka 120 beats per minute bpm major beats per minute then or okay right click what why i'm to a type in 120 or okay 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 hold and drag up 
or hold and drag down depending on when you go get your speed to go when you go so good now and then one other thing guys whenever kara ka fruit loops in eh yo yo mouse only on top of an icon ne on a little guide here on the top on the top top left by which the hint panel yo which are a name for every icon ni lori yo mouse pointer or on top of yo na like no so remote record remote pattern selector like yo na ino which are the name of the icon ni lori o mo mouse pointer wa o mo dumo ga yo na guys so one most important thing before you la pele guys the way things work in fruit loops ne eh uh, you build patterns and arrange those patterns to build a song first you build patterns and take those patterns and build them to a song okay guys okay guys now that we are done with some of the most the most basic important functions you or one should know okay in the first time by exposed to fruit loops let's move to five main windows that make up this software fruit loops they literally make this make up this software ne? so the first window guys is the browser the browser is where it contains the samples on a ledger on your system this is where everything is stored ne? all your samples to create your songs this is where they are stored and next guys let's move to the channel rack channel rack ke ke this place first on the channel rack i would advise you to click out this drop down this drop down menu on sorry this drop down menu on this drop down menu on on the top top left of the channel rack and then o o click it detached it it so to show gore gore in fruit loops this is angano ke the channel rack is used the most so hold up click it detached it it or is ka is ka is ka disappear again and again every time we nyaka one so again channel rack ke mo o create and this is where you create your patterns o create your patterns on the channel rack ne and then now let's move to the playlist playlist ke ke this part here eh uh, give this over now this is the playlist playlist ke this part more playlist ke more auto auto or playlist uh in simple terms is where you take those patterns you would create leni and arrange them chop them sequence them into a song mo ke mo pakang go share ga go go share sure sure and again guys let's move oh, one other thing important thing a playlist okay sorry one other important thing a playlist go on the top right of the playlist on ali the menu here mock really the snap to grid nali the draw paint delete mute all these options the to show manipulator though they help or manipulator further the patterns to the body they will uh to make up uh, let's move to the mixer guys a uh, mixer all audios are routed through the mixer and out through the master channel like in simple terms all audios uh, literally this is part of the audio still already linked to fruit loops so all audios are linked through the mixer and out through the master channel or what this is the master channel and then get click at any audio uh, everything will make sense with practice but then yeah and then from the mixer let's move to the piano roll piano roll for piano roll this is where you are going to sequence and uh, manipulate your chords this is where you're going to build your melodies uh this is literally a place where you're going to create harmony for your song or whatever it is that is required of you to make your song sound the way you want it to sound like there still a lot of options here but then 
the most basic thing to know for now is just know what this is where you are going to build and sequence your chords so yes and guys a quick recap for for the five main windows before we move to them in a more detailed way first one is the browser this is where all the audios are stored all the audios and samples are stored and the channel rack and then the channel rack first first in simple terms this is where you create your patterns and moving to the playlist this is where you you arrange the patterns you created on the channel rack to you build your song using your patterns this is where you're going to arrange your patterns and to the mixer the mixer in simple term all audios are routed through the mixer and out through the master channel so let's move to them in a more detailed way okay guys let's move to the main main five windows that make up fruit loops in a more detailed way guys first let's start the more on the channel rack guys the channel rack or oh, the first thing i would advise you to do ne, on the channel rack is to click on the top right of the channel rack here or click it is detached um, at, at the bottom we click it it thought to show or a menu what channel rack oscar disappear again and again and again and then one other thing we did mention or a uh, the channel rack is where all instruments and samples exist for the current project so and let's say for now for you go add a chick for to add a fushimisha and take the portable mouse he left click to left click to to lay and then to delete fushimisha right click so for now a quick editing lesson go add a kick on the kick for every four bit here yeah and then okay one other important thing before we continue uh, guys uh this more modeling kick this this icon here is on top of the channel rack is called the this channel on top of the uh, channel rack is called the the rare panel the rapper it consists of information yeah every yeah every sample like you got like a, a clip for example here it will want information about the sample and further further manipulations about further manipulations about this certain sample so yeah it's called the rapper you can manipulate further your 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 samples using the rare part uh, for example there's a peach a peach here again there's a the in a controller the the uh, how loud your the first part of your sample sounds uh, for now it's a bit complex for not to be going through this one because for now we are focused on the most basic functions of fruit loops and then carrying on with the lesson guys and then one other important things here are these dials here this first one a controller the penny the stereo right left and then to the right you 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 we draw like this and then the second one give volume and then this one here let's say can you go link her my my kick the one i just created lay number five on the mixer i will simply uh hold and drag up to five and then yes you can see it moves as i if i want to take it to six i will drag up and then to take it to four i will hold and drag down and then that's it guys this one's the very important and then again Uh, one last important function to know car channel rack is the graph editor guys the graph editor it, it helps you to actually 
said Ruru, how hard or soft do you want your sample to sound? If Unyaga is sound soft, you take it down. Another uh, shortcut for play is spacebar. I pressed the spacebar. Okay. And then for soft, you take it, you take it down. And then for hard, we shall do. So, okay. That's the idea there. And then moving on to the mixer, guys. Uh, as we we can all see, Rory, this kick here, it's it's linked to channel number four on the mixer here. You can tell by on level and no more. It means this slap here, it, it's linked to two. This head, it's it's linked to number three, and then and so on. For now, let's focus on the kick, which is linked on number four on the mixer. Remember, Rory, all sounds are linked through the mixer and out through the master channel. Now, for now, we linked our kick on channel number four inset four. okay guys further manipulation of the mixer first guys we have okay we are going to work on inset four or channel four because you can tell what our kick here is linked on uh inset four you can tell by just checking this number here next to our sample to tell which uh channel is it linked to okay and then First on the master, this fader here is called the volume. You can decrease the volume of the sample by you can by holding and dragging down or holding and dragging up. Let me do so. What is it? Sound display. You can you can hold and drag down to decrease the volume, and then hold and drag up to increase the volume. And then on the left here we have this knob, small knob here is called the stereo separation if you want to make your sample wider or thinner you can use this knob here this knob here okay and then as we move to the top we have the panning guys to pen your your your, your sample to the le to the left you use the st uh, stereo panning and then to pen it to the right or as well you use the stereo panning knob okay, okay guys, guys let's move to the playlist uh the playlist uh, okay guys first thing first thing to know about the playlist is the playlist option here on the top left of our playlist now guys playlist window the first one here is that the, uh, this drop down menu the name of this drop down menu is the playlist at uh, the playlist options and then snap to grid the draw the paint the delete the mute the sleep, the slice, and so on, guys. These options here, they're to share to manipulate our patterns further, jewelry. Those patterns that will be on our playlist, ne, guys. Okay. Okay, guys. Now let us begin by lesson on how to arrange uh, our patterns on the playlist, ne, guys. Now we are going to arrange our patterns on the playlist. Uh, first to to lay a pattern one on the playlist you click here and then you use left click to lay and then right click to delete now guys okay then first we create our pattern here and then now this is where the the the, the transport control option for pattern and song come now ne? Now, remember I said this part here stands for pattern and then this song stands for song. If if uh, now it's on pattern like this, it means what I am playing only the pattern. Ne? And then now if it's on song, like on song, it means it's going to play everything on the playlist. Now on song, I hit play. You see? Okay. Now to insert pattern 2, you go to the pattern selector and hit this plus here. And then let's call, let's call it drum two. Yeah, and then hit enter, press enter. And then now you click on pattern two and then lay pattern two here. And now to add instruments on pattern two, then let's add, you open the channel rack for channel, for, 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 for pattern two and then let's add clap uh, clap and head ok 
Okay. Okay, guys, this is uh, and not wow, but then this is like the basics on how to use Fruit Loops to create your own song. So now for the final lesson on our video is uh, how to insert a, a, a visual instrument. A VST instrument. Uh, let's insert two keys, two keys, FL keys. Okay. To, um, sorry to to insert a, a visual instrument a VST. First, we click on this plus here on the bottom of on of the channel right and then select the one you want to use okay for now let's go with the FL keys okay to to play the FL keys here we right click on the rapper next to the FL keys and then after right clicking we click piano roll and then from there we can build our melody in the piano roll let's 